action. All right there, hey YouTube. Today we're gonna to talk about something. Uh, one of our previous videos uh, sprung up a couple questions. RG213 and solder, solder on PL259s, okay? There's two different types of these that you'll find on the internet. One of them has a white dielectric there and is longer. And the other one has, a, I don't know, a brown or maroon or dark red. And it's, it's definitely shorter, okay? Now, that's going to play a role here in just a moment. I'm going to show you why. Let's go ahead and remove this inner piece. This is for if you're using a smaller piece of coax. We're going to take that out. We're also going to go ahead and uh, remove the remove the threaded portion as well. Okay. Now, if you had a longer piece of coax, you remember, put this down the coax before you get started. All right, we're going to be using this kit from DX Engineering called the DXE-UT-R213. So this is for RG213 cable. It operates like a pencil sharpener. On this side it says first cut and it points to that hole. So we'll show that here in just a moment. This piece is merely a way to hold on to your coax because we're gonna be cramming this coax inside this pencil sharpener and it's nice to have something to hold on to that's nice and meaty. All right, so we'll go ahead and we're gonna take this end, put it in the end here that says first cut. All right, and we're gonna start twisting. And what, what's gonna be happening is, this is gonna be acting like a pencil sharpener and the debris that's falling out is gonna be everything to include the jacket, the shield, leaving just the center conductor. And it's gonna leave the center conductor up to the exact uh, amount of space that you that you need it to be sticking out take that off and if you do have any kind of debris in there on your blade it will prevent it from getting all the way down through the dielectric so you need to make sure that that's cleaned out we'll just keep going with it here and see if it'll Get that last little bit of dielectric off there. And it will just bottom out when it's reached the point where it's finished. Let's go ahead and pull it off, see what we have. All right, so we're almost there, okay? It went ahead and took off, took off everything, almost down to the dielectric. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull out our our knife here and we're going to finish this up making sure that we just get just the dielectric stuff here and pull that right off the end there we go all right so it is left just that amount okay and now what we're going to do this is first cut now we're going to go to the other end and now when we stick it inside, the other end is going to cut off just the black jacket. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and it comes right out that hole there. And it's gonna cut off just the right amount. And there it is. So we have the shield and the end of the coax there now we'll go ahead and make sure that we don't have any of the shield reaching up there and touching the touching the center conductor and you can always pull out a small little tiny tiny set of side cutters there and, and trim off anything that you have maybe sticking up there okay let's go ahead and do this trimming All right, and now that we've done that, let's go ahead and take this tool, a little hockey puck tool is what I call it. Now, remember when we talked about this short one, this cheaper short version, as opposed to the little bit more expensive longer versions. This tool is nothing but just something for you to use as a holding aid. So we're gonna shove that in there, twist the hockey puck onto it. 
and you'll see that the tip comes out here and this will actually go right on here so you get the center conductor and then you just start twisting and the actual threads that hold this thing on are actually digging into the black jacket all right so I'm twisting on and twisting on and right there I see the end of my coax so I'm gonna hold up right there now this is why you want the longer version as you can see it protrudes beyond the hockey puck the shorter one doesn't do that the short one will be all the way down in there so if I just grab this and try to back try to turn it back off of there now it'll actually grab my end and start working it back off well, I don't want that to happen so I'm just gonna use my pliers and hold it and then give it a turn there we go now it loosened it right up and boom that end is on there now last video somebody had mentioned about a continuity check to make sure that the cables are good so let's go ahead and break out our multimeter we're gonna set it to continuity beep okay give it a test here not sure if you can hear that on camera but I can all right now I'm gonna test the center conductor I'm gonna to touch the shield nothing all right so let's come down here now and I will touch the center conductor back here and then touch the center conductor up here and I got a beep all right and I'll touch the shield back here in the back nothing okay touch the shield here and I got a beep so that's a good piece of that's a good end so now all that's left to do is see who's at the front door sorry about that so clean up our little mess here and then uh yeah a little bit of soldering and we're all finished and you can apply solder uh, here to the tip and if you wish you could maybe take a um, take something and, and push some flux down in these holes and then hit solder into these holes as well so that way you can solder the whole thing there you go that's a uh, rg213 using the dx engineering dxe ut r213 three piece little kit there all right i hope uh i hope that helps you uh figure out how to do some soldering on your own. It can be kind of scary if, you, if you've never done it before. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm at W4EMB. Cut.